Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning, we're going to talk about why you need to plan to give. So let's jump right into it. So I don't know about you, but as for me, it is so easy to get into a rhythm, whereas I have really good intentions to be a giving person and even have viable giving opportunities. But then I get distracted with all the other demands of life and I can so easily forget about it. Now, I think this is why giving is so important, especially setting up a rhythm for giving. Now, it's easy to miss the opportunity if you're always running honestly running from one thing to the next uh this is why it's so important to stop and figure out what rhythm you need to set up so that you can slow down and see the actual needs around you and figure out how you need to be involved and take action this will then give you the ability to put life back in perspective realizing what's important think about this for a moment Think about all the events throughout the year that you feel obligated to give to. You know, are there a lot of them? Uh, it's so easy to focus on these specific events rather than allowing ourselves to be in the mindset of giving year round and having that heart of generosity year round. So instead of waiting for these specific opportunities, it's important to shift your mind and having a, a mindset that is excited for that opportunity uh, to give back. And, and I think this is challenging for many of us because of the fast paced nature of the world that we operate in. So think about the going away or retirement parties, uh, graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's day, Christmas, ha Hanukkah, family reunions, you name it. I mean, there's so many out there that contain some level of emphasis on gift giving. Um, except it may feel like an obligation um, rather than giving from a heart of gratitude. And, and so oftentimes these things um, are, are oughts and shoulds versus actually being in that mindset of, of wanting to be generous uh, and, and wanting to give back. So within your plan to spend and outside of any tithe offering or giving to a cause otherwise, you need to plan for these specific types of events and ideally ongoing from an ongoing standpoint of giving so that they don't cause you to perpetually throw the last minute gift on a credit card and that you're actually planning for it. So think about how you could structure your giving in a way that every month you put a smaller amount aside for the purpose of giving so that you can level out the impact of giving to your financial picture. And it's not these, uh, these uh, you know, hockey stick effects whenever you have Christmas come around or something like that. Now this can be difficult to define, but how about starting with developing a list of who and how much you give for the holidays? So once you have this list, I would recommend adding up all the estimated gift amounts, then taking that total, divide it by 12 for each month or by the number of paychecks you receive per year. Uh, so let's say that you wanna spend $100 per individual and you have 12 people to buy for throughout the year. Now, if you are paid bi-weekly and you receive 26 paychecks per year, you will only need to set aside $46 per paycheck in order to accomplish this. Now, if you're paid 24 paychecks per year, you only need to set aside $50 out of that paycheck uh, each time it comes around so that you are setting aside that money um, for intentional gift giving. So however often you are paid, you will wanna put aside a certain amount every month to a separate bank account designated for giving. Now this will allow it to be out of sight, out of mind, and then allows you to pull directly from that account for the purpose of giving. So beyond the heavy spending um, during the holidays, the hockey stick that I um, referred to previously, think through the rest of the year. You know, what do you want to give to? Uh, what do you anticipate the average gift costing? Uh, how far in advance do you need to plan for that gift in particular? Uh, but knowing the additional information uh, will add context and 
and, and will allow you to adjust that amount that you pull from your paycheck into that savings account accordingly. Now you may be thinking about or concerned with that money sitting in a savings account that doesn't grow and in fact gets silently eaten up by inflation. Now you may have a slightly better option like a money market account uh, to place that money into. Um, and if this is the case, go ahead and do so. But this money isn't being placed there with the intention of making an investment for it to necessarily grow, but instead to prevent you from going into debt every time you want to be generous, but haven't planned to do so. So my call to action today is to think about a rhythm that would work best for you. Uh, really think through this process to ensure that you are putting aside a certain amount of money for the purpose of saving to give. This will give you peace of mind and the ability to give without worrying uh, about where that money will come from or what it's coming uh, you know, out of um, otherwise. If this information is helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're reminded to come back on a daily basis and improve in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.